Hi, my name's Kevin and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is going to be about installing a power feed onto the Miller machine. Um, this has been imported from China and a very good price, a lot cheaper than what we can buy here in New Zealand. And you're more or less buying the same, you know, exactly the same thing, but just with a different badge on it. So, um, yeah, it's very good quality. And um, I have had this on the machine. I've taken it off just to um, show you, you know, the contents of what comes in the package. Um, I'm not going to do an unboxing, obviously. <laughs> um, so what we've got here, we've got the actual mechanism. Um, this has got all the drive gear inside and we've got, you know, um, left and right on the axis, uh, on the x-axis. We've got speed control and um, on-off switch. And here, which this um, hooks into this unit and this is your fast feed. So that runs at its maximum to get the table from like one end to the other. And also on here, we have an auto stop which um, is bolted to the front of the machine. Um, unfortunately, my scale is in the way for that, so I'm going to have to come up with another idea for that, but um, I'll have a look at that in the future. Um, this is the gear which um, goes onto the end of the x-axis, onto the drive, and um, that then in turn drives the gear and what's in, in the top of the uh, feed here. And all I had to do when I ordered it is to um, just tell them the diameter of the shaft coming out of the x-axis. Um, in my case, it's a 17 mil. And um, I took a bit of a punt, really, because I didn't know whether I was going to have to make a new shaft on the lathe or, you know, or whether I was going to be lucky and everything would just happen to fit my table. And uh, as luck was out, it did fit. So I was, I was happy with that. Otherwise, I would have been you know, having to make a shaft. Um, no problem, but um, it's a lot easier just to have all the parts there ready to hand. Um, these bits here, you, you've got your stops, which obviously go either side of the um, stop carriage. Um, and there's a mountain block for those as well. And bolts to bolt all this together. And then the actual plate, this is the bit what screws onto the lathe's onto the uh, Miller machine's table. So um, it just sits on the table that way, and then the unit actually comes off this way, and I'll, I'll show you when, um, when I install it back onto the machine. So anyway, so yeah, a good kit, uh, well made, and um, I'll show you the, in the next video now of it being installed back onto the table. Well, here we are at the machine, and uh, this is the end we're gonna install onto. Um, so we're just gonna take the handle off first, because obviously we won't be needing that. And that then leaves the spigot here, at which um, the gear is going to go on the drive gear. So this same, um, it's got the same pattern here as what's on the end of the machine. So we literally just slide it on. Let's just make sure the grub screws around the right way. And then just tighten that onto the shaft. And just nip that up. And that's that done. And then we've just got to sort out the mechanism. So this plate here, um, I'll just now reconnect that to the, um, the actual drive head itself. Right, so here we are. We've got the drive mechanism here. And this just literally bolts straight through into the back plate. It's only got two um, machine screws that hold it on. So we'll, I haven't nipped it up completely yet. We're just going to have a look and just make sure that we've got it in the right place. Um, 
because obviously the gear here has to um, you know match up to the other gear and uh, we want that to be perfect because um, there's quite a lot of power in this and we don't want to be stripping the gear off so um, we'll get it all squared up and get it squared up on the other tooth and then um, we'll tighten it all up once it's already all ready to go so and then we just connect this one here which is the way up that go come on now oh, that way so yeah so that just feeds into the unit and this is your fast your, your rapid feed so right so here we are and so this gear here has to marry up with this one so i've already pre-bolted these together and got them more or less where they need to be so what is um the table has got this part here and this is what we're going to be bolting onto so as you can see we just lay that down and that's as easy as that that just bolts onto there like that and we just got to check that gear underneath and just make sure that that's okay and then um, we just tighten these screws up here which um, tightens against the table and uh, that's all finished Well, it's all fixed back on and we're all ready to go. Everything's tightened up, everything's squared off and um, I'll just show you it now working. So here we've got the table going to the right, table to the left. Um, we've got a speed control here. So it depends on what we're cutting. I mean, if we're gonna be, you know, if we're going through a cut slow, like if we're fly cutting a piece of aluminium, say we need to travel reasonably slow um, to get a good finish. And then we can, you know, speed it up for various operations and that. So um, we've got the on off switch here and we'll put the table to go forward and then we'll just, so a nice slow speed or a fast speed. Or we can go rapid. And we'll put it back to come into the other way and we can go rapid that way as well. And obviously we've got fine feed. Yeah, as I was saying, my scale is on the front of the machine here. So um, normally you'd have your auto stop about here in the middle and then where the stops are, when it comes across, you see it'll hit the auto stop and stop so the, the table won't drive to the end of its travel, um, which can obviously do some damage. So for the now, I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on that and then um, come up with some idea of putting the stops on. And finally, just a couple of pictures looking up from underneath the machine at the finished install. I was trying to get a picture of the um, gears just so you could have a look how they mesh but I couldn't get the camera in close enough. Anyway um, that's it on this video so thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. See you next time.